Rebecca Prince and welcome back to The Fumble. Stephen Curry isn't just one of the top players in the NBA, he is also one of the top earners in sneaker sales. But unlike LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan, he isn't wearing Nike. Curry is an Under Armour man. So how did the world's biggest shoe company let the 2015 NBA MVP slip through its fingers? You're about to find out. According to ESPN staff writer Ethan Strauss, the breakdown between Curry and Nike can be traced back to the 2013 NBA offseason. That summer, Curry had voiced interest in heading a Nike-sponsored camp for up-and-coming ballers. This was especially important to Curry because he had fond memories of participating in a Chris Paul-led camp as a kid and wanted to carry on the torch. However, when it came time for Nike to make the decision, the brand chose Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis to run its camps instead of Curry. As discouraging as that was, that was only the beginning. In August of 2013, Nike had an opportunity to sway Curry with a formal pitch meeting. As Steph's father, Del Curry, recalls, things started to go south quickly as Del says a Nike rep opened the meeting by mispronouncing Stefan's name as Stefan. You know, the moniker, of course, of Steve Urkel's alter ego on Family Matters. Now, the red flags began popping up immediately, and it only got worse from there. Later, Nike loaded up a PowerPoint presentation that actually still had Kevin Durant's name on it, a misstep that Curry's father says was the final straw. I stopped paying attention after that, Dell said. ESPN also found that Curry's decision may have been heavily influenced by his former Warriors teammate Kent Bazemore, who Under Armour used as a catalyst of sorts to grab Steph's attention. He was a rookie for us, and he got more gear and boxes in front of his locker every day than anybody else on the team, Curry said. In the end, Curry and his family, including his fan favorite daughter Riley, gathered at his agent's house to make his final decision. Before him were examples of all three options available to him, shoes from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. At this point, Riley is a little over a year old. She is presented with a Nike sneaker, an Adidas sneaker, and an Under Armour sneaker. She picks up shoe one, a Nike, threw it over her shoulder, Curry said. She picked up shoe two, threw it over her shoulder, and she picked up shoe three, walked it over, and handed it to me. It was the Under Armour Anatomic Spawn, so I knew right then, Curry says, smiling. Now, if you aren't familiar, Under Armour was offering him a deal worth less than $4 million per year, and under the terms of their previous deal, Nike had the option to match it, but unfortunately, the company passed. And now we know how the biggest sneaker shakeup of all time went down. For more Sports Scoop, make sure you head over to obsev.com sports.